Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for the mini awesome cast for awesomecast.net for this April 30th, 2015, almost out of uh, April. Fantastic. Uh, today we're going to talk about Windows 10 and the reworked Android and iOS apps uh, from Build uh, over this week. Uh, but first, please go check out our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com and BoldPittsburgh.com, both big supporters of the shows here on Sorgatron Media. And check out everything else going on, including uh, today we're releasing, uh, as of today's date, uh, we're releasing our interview with Yeah Jagoff, John Chamberlain, to talk about blocking social media, video, and so much more in the first edition of our awesome chat at AwesomeCast. Dot net. So let's get into this news item. Um, as, as I mentioned, uh, yeah, so Windows, <laughs> Windows is, is, is going to get a little easier to develop for. It, it, it's so weird looking at something like this because, I mean, recall how long ago where this was the dominant thing. And according to The Verge, uh, the huge news is Windows 10 can run re reworked Android and iOS apps. This isn't an emulator. This isn't anything like that. Uh, they're having a version of their code that will actually take those apps that you 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 made in Objective-C or whatever else. I actually, uh, watching back to the nine minutes of build conference on the verge, uh, saw them slamming that weird objective C code and turning it into something usable on windows 10. Now, uh, the initial thing is like, okay, you can make apps for your, uh, windows, whatever, but, uh, but this is more helpful for the windows phone because they need developers and you can grease those wheels, make it easier for them to port something over to your phone that does not have that much base. The thing is though, wow, this will make it easier you still have to give people a reason to use that little bit of effort and see some benefit in coming over to your Windows 10 devices. Now, yes, the phones are low end as far as the numbers out there, but this does also translate. If it's on Windows 10, then it also works for Windows 10 tablets, which I think are on the uprise. Because um, I, I think they're pretty interchangeable these days with laptops, at least looking at the store and see what they have. I don't know what sales have been like. Um, and, and even that, that also means these apps can be adapted in some fashion to work on your desktop. And I have been really sketchy on the uh, selection of apps, even on a desktop Windows machine uh, with Windows 8. And we're talking about like this is still Windows. This is still the top draw as far as OS is kind of by default because more people are buying Windows PCs, more people have Windows. Um, and especially Windows 8 over the last couple of years, I, I know that has not really adopted great with, with business and, and, and everything like that. Um, and, and, you know, my wife just got a new Windows 8 uh, laptop. I'm still using a Windows 8 laptop for a few things when I need a secondary uh, kind of machine. Like, you know, even tomorrow I'm using my Mac to record with. So I want to do all my social media on a Windows machine. Um, so we're running it hell with Wirecast over here. I just don't really get into much features because all we're doing is running Wirecast one thing on this thing you don't want to mix that up too much in a studio environment uh but what do you think do you think this is going to help windows 10 kind of get a little bit more of a foothold they want windows 10 on a billion devices i, I don't know what the time frame that they announced for that but that is ridiculous um and even this thing is going to let you uh eventually leverage in capabilities of windows 10 like cortana which is their siri and uh, google now kind of uh, uh speech feature uh, xbox live the holograms with uh hololens which we're going to be talking about hololens overall basic sorgonomics at sorgatron.com it's just very exciting and they're showing more stuff that make me think that this is a real thing that i could potentially have in my home if i had a little bit more money <laughs> <laughs> hey, it seems more uh, seems more attainable than Google Glass was, and we all know how that went for if you've been uh, watching uh, with me on these shows for a little bit now. So uh, let me know what do you think about this uh, uh, latest news and 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 the the streamline to get your app over on the Windows 10. I can't believe we're in a world where this is. Uh, uh, what needs to happen for Windows to get a foothold again. Uh, you know, they had bullied people around 15 years ago, basically. So let me know what you think. Awesomecast.net on us at Awesomecast. Wow. On the Twitters, I'm at Sorgatron. We'll see you guys next time. Subscribe. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.